This might be one of the best Air Jordan 5s in my sneaker collection, but we got one big problem. Not that many people know about the shoe. Today, we're gonna be talking about the Florida Gators Air Jordan 5 PE. There are only a few hundred pairs in existence, and I was fortunate enough to find a pair thanks to my homies over at Untied LA. Oh yeah, and if you didn't know by now, my name is DJ, and this is the DNA show. Before we get into the details of this crazy shoe, we gotta talk about the history first. Back in 1990, Michael Jordan was in hot pursuit of winning his first NBA championship, but he ended up falling short to the Detroit Pistons in the Eastern Conference Finals. And during that time, we saw some iconic colorways back then with the great fives, the fire red fives with the black tongue, one of my personal favorites. And we can't forget the flashy 3M tongue on the other fire red fives, but another personal favorite, the metallic fives. And that Nike Air on the back, ooh wee. All of those shoes featured the Nike Air on the heel, just like the threes and fours. And because of that, they became a staple in the shoe game still to this day. Nowadays, Jordan brand only puts Nike Air on special edition player edition sneakers or stuff for like collaborations rappers etc so it has to be a really special scenario or original colorways that are being retro but we'll get into all the details of the shoe in a second don't worry guys so back in 2018 2019 season jordan brand announced that they were collaborating with the florida gators and they made that special debut with the air jordan 4 gators this shoe is worth anywhere from four to six thousand dollars depending on who you're asking what size the shoe is and what the condition is at the end of the day they're expensive they're exclusive and they're pretty hard to get. Following that season, Jordan Brand gave the players and staff the Air Jordan 1s in 2020 and then the Air Jordan 5s in 2021. And as you can see from the trend, Jordan Brand gives a special edition sneaker catered to them every single season. And you know I had to get my hands on some pairs too. Last year, they gave them the Air Jordan 6s and earlier this year, they gave them the Air Jordan 1 low. Can you guess what they'll get next year? Drop a comment down below. I might think it's the sevens. Now that you guys know a little bit more about the shoe, let's go ahead and take these things to the studio so we can really break these things down. There's a lot of subtle stuff on this shoe that you may not just notice until we really get in depth on the materials. So looking at the bottom of the shoe, you got your classic Air Jordan 5 outsole. One thing that I love that they did, they put the Nike branding right here because that matches with the Nike Air around the heel, which we'll show in a second. They like to put the Nike branding on there because it gives it more of an elevated vibe when it comes to the shoe. I don't know what it is, but I'm not mad at it. So going along with that, you got your translucent areas around the front and the back end of the shoe. And then on the ball of the foot right here, you have your Florida Gators logo. Also, I always forget to mention, but it's like a hidden feature with the shoe. If you look at the Gators logo, look closely right there. You see the jump man? Typically you have a jump man on this part of the shoe, but right here, it's actually both. They just made it really translucent and it just get the outline of the jump, man. So a nice little hidden feature, nice details. You know what I'm saying? When it comes to the PEs and the different stuff like that, something to always look for. I always thought that was a nice touch and I wanted to make sure you guys knew about it. My bad. All right, let's get back to the video. And on both of the shoes, it looks the same way when it comes to the outsole right there. Now wrapping up to the midsole, you got your pure white right here all throughout on the back end around the heel and the same thing right here on the toe, but you have a blue stitch matching the upper right here around the front end on the toe of the shoe. Now looking at the shark teeth right here on the front end, you have the orange and then the royal blue speckle just inside of there. And then you have that same hint right here on the little triangle on the inside of the foot as well. They got a fully encapsulated air unit right here on the back end and it's all white on the inside of there honestly it might have looked dope if they added an orange touch to that and another thing that's very interesting on these compared to the sixes these have a pure white midsole compared to the sixes have more of a sail colored giving you that vintage vibe now going to the upper this is the part that i was talking about the details i love this part of the shoe if you look really really closely you can see it's actually like a suede material on the entire upper and it almost looks like water is sitting on top of the shoe giving you that cement print that you typically see or the elephant print that people know and if you look really really close hopefully the camera picks it up it looks like the shoe is almost wet it's actually really, really dope. I like how they added that element to it, giving you that sheen, giving you that texture, the different materials, and a nice switch up. We don't really see this often when it comes to sneakers in general. We saw on the Lab 5, that was different though. They had that elephant print all throughout the upper. These, it's actually kind of sitting on top of the material and it's a lot more fine and a lot more detailed. And if you haven't seen my Oklahoma Air Jordan 5 review, we talked about that same thing right here when it comes to the materials. Everything on this shoe is essentially identical to this version, yet it's a different school, same kind of color pattern and all those different things, just different colors and different logos and branding. But when it comes to the set of fives and the set of 
sixes. Besides Howard, they did all the same thing for all the shoes. Just switched it up a little bit to match the school vibe. Now looking at the mesh behind the net and the net, you have a blue mesh right here and a translucent net matching the outsole. And then we have blue plastic pieces right here running up the side of the foot. And then on the tongue, you have the blue mesh with the translucent mesh just above that on the net. And another dope detail that I really liked right here, they have the orange tongue with the suede. And then you got the Florida Gators logo right here stitched on the center of the tongue, also matching with the bib right here and the lace lock. Translucent bib, blue lace lock, and then the Florida Gators logo just inside of that. And these come standard with a pair of royal blue flat laces. This also matches with the back of the tongue and on the inside of the sock liner. And then on the insoles right here, you have an all orange insole with the blue Nike Air. And these are just your standard insoles that you typically get on most shoes and like we talked about in the air jordan 6 video these insoles have more of that leather type feel to them i like how they gave them that more premium element to this shoe and i wish they would have done the same thing when it comes to the air jordan 5 but the fives came first then the sixes came after so i see maybe they learned from that and they said hey let's upgrade it a little bit when it comes to the sixes now when it comes to this air jordan 5 compared to every air jordan 5 in the set of the college series i think these kind of fall right in the middle the middle of the pack I really like the Michigan ones just because the yellow, you know, I'm a Steelers fan. So maybe that's why those really pop out to me. But besides all that, I'm interested to see what you guys think about this shoe. And as always, I post a poll on my story to see what you guys think. And then the results go here on the channel. So if you haven't already, make sure you guys follow me on IG. But I asked them a simple question. Is this shoe fire or is this shoe trash? And this is what they said. 84% of the people said fire and 16% of the people said trash. Honestly, that's some pretty good results. I can understand the fact that like you may not like the Florida Gators and you might like a different college or whatever it may be But I think even if this was a general release a shoe that came out to the public and you didn't have the Gator logo on the tongue And it had the Nike Air on the back and everything like that I think this would be a dope release a dope shoe to have in the collection Not only the fact that yeah, it's rare and it's expensive all those things But I think if this was actually a release this would be something that I would go after. So for me, I say I really like this shoe because again, I like how they switched up the materials on the uppers and gave us that different element, something that we don't typically see that often. And that's another reason why I love collecting samples and PEs and even showing you guys them here on the channel. And as you guys know, I have a fully curated playlist that'll give you guys all the PEs that we've gone through on the channel. Make sure you guys check that out at the end of the video. And I got some more PEs I need to review for you guys soon. So stay tuned for that. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And I'll see y'all in another one. I would never let you down. So before you go, I just launched my Sneakerhead Academy where we got everything on the inside. I teach you all the stuff that I learned over the past 15 years when it comes to sneakers, scaling, real estate, you name it. We talk about all of it in there. And there's an eight week program plus a bunch of monthly giveaways. I give away shoes literally way too much, honestly. But either way, I'll see you guys on the inside. Hit the link down below in my description or pinned in the comment section for DJ Sneakerhead Academy. And I'll see you guys over there. Send my DNA, hey, the hey, only pop. choice I like to make what I'm aware it's today. I would never let you down, it's in my DNA The only choice I like to make what I'm aware today I was made for it, it's in the DNA